Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So if you're using Mozilla Firefox, then just to let you know that quite a big update is rolled out for the browser. Now, this is just a point release update, and it seems that around about this time on a Tuesday afternoon in my region that Mozilla now is pushing out updates for their browser on a regular basis. And because there's quite a lot going on in this point release update, it's good to double check your browsers up to date by heading to your main menu, help about Firefox. And after the update has been applied, the version and build is 137.0.2. So it's our second point release for version 137. Now in this update, we get eight bug fixes, a security fix and a change. So for a point release, quite a lot taking place. Now just to go through these bug fixes, they fixed the file picker not being displayed when exporting passwords on macOS in about logins for some users. They fixed an accessibility issue with the new PDF signature feature. Now the signature feature was a feature that rolled out in version 137. I'll leave that video linked down below and in the end screen. So if you did receive the PDF signature feature because it was on a controlled rollout and you have experienced any issues, just double check you get this update sooner than later. They fixed an issue where using the context menu to paste in the style editor would insert the code twice. So it was duplicating the, the actual code. So that's been patched. And then they fixed functional regressions in the XSLT support introduced in 137. Now XSLT stands for Extensible Style Sheet Language Transformations and basically is an XML based language used in conjunction with specialized processing software for the transformation of XML documents. So that issue has been addressed. Then they also fixed a tooltip flickering issue on Windows that would affect some users when hovering. So that's quite a niggly little issue that's now been addressed. And they fixed an issue where the browser would not respond to clicks in some HTML5 video players. And then the final bug fix they fixed an issue where radio inputs were behaving incorrectly. Now moving on to the security fix, there's only one and it addresses a high impact vulnerability, which is your second highest after critical. So that's quite an important security fix that's rolled out. And it's a race condition that could lead to memory corruption. So that's been patched in the browser and then as mentioned, we get one change where they fixed an issue with DRM video playback on some sites caused by the general availability rollout of Microsoft's Play Ready hardware decryption DRM support in Firefox 137. They mentioned that Play Ready support is now limited to specific sites while broader compatibility continues to be tested. So quite a jam-packed point release, eight bug fixes, a security fix, and a change. So if you are using the browser, just double check it's up to date. And other than that, at this stage, I'm not noticing any tweaks or adjustments when it comes to new features that the update has introduced. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.